Hey, welcome back. It is uh, Wednesday, the 17th of May. Uh, what you see behind me here are 54 wing ribs that are now prepped and ready to begin to mock up the wings. Um, uh, wing prep, man. Uh, th this has obviously been many days since the last video uh, that I published. Um, it's as uh, another RV8 builder told me, for him, this was peak tedium uh, of the build. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a ton of work. Uh, I just, I mean, minutes ago, finished fluting uh, all 54 of the ribs, and I spread that over two days. I spread everything over a couple of days because these sort of repeated monotonous um, operations, um, at least for me, just, I need to take a break and go do something else, go work on the yard or, or, or whatever. But ju just fluting alone, which isn't really a difficult task, um, that was like 11 hours, uh, but it's done. Um, so what I'm gonna do is similar to what I did with the wing structures, which is just do sort of like a multi-camera collage of the different uh, work that was being done over a period of a few days. And uh, I'll call out anything that I find interesting. One thing before we get into it though, um, I'll show you a picture right here-ish of um, what most of my ribs look like when I got them. Uh, a note here, this picture is taken at the perfect angle to kind of get a look at this discoloration. I had a long conversation with Vans Builder Support about this. In a nutshell, parts that are hydroformed um, cannot have the blue vinyl on them when they are formed and they cannot be tempered. Most of the parts that we get, the skins and, and, and many of the ribs and spars are 2024 T3 aluminum. T3 is the temper. Uh, the hydroform parts, which are what they do a lot of now for the laser cut parts, uh, those are T0. Those are not tempered. So they have to remove the blue vinyl hydroform them under a tremendous amount of pressure and then temper them in a bath and the solutions lead to this discoloration and, and and it's why you don't get that shine that you get on some of the others but it, now it's harder anyways that's what it is the other part of it is that i live in east texas about 100 miles from the gulf of mexico in a high humidity environment and all of this stuff has been sitting in my garage since I think the beginning of March, waiting for me to get started on, which means that there is going to be a little bit of corrosion on it. I need to put extra elbow grease into getting all of these parts ultimately ready to be primed. Um, as for the tank ribs, priming obviously is not an option, but uh, you know, 100 low lead slashing around, sloshing around rather, um, corrosion won't necessarily be an issue. Anyways, uh, let's just get into uh, the little uh, collage and we'll let you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay tuned. Well, I, I don't know how you make such boring work into a panel of highlights, but that's basically <laughs> what we've got here. But uh, I'll spare you, and this is only two and a half minutes um, to cover what was several days um, of work in, in really shorter sessions, maybe two and a half to three and a half hours per day. Um, in the top left, one thing that's worth noting, you see me labeling all of those ribs. I was really careful to go through all of them, get rid of the sticky label off of them, but then label them. And I added an additional character on the label, which uh, is either a P for port or S for starboard, because there are lots of R's and L's in here but the R's and the L's don't necessarily mean that they are for the right or for the left wing. It has to do with the direction that the flange faces. So each wing, left and right, has an assortment of R or L ribs. So I decided to separate them in bins, one for the port wing and one for the starboard wing, added the extra letter on there. Um, and then eventually, once we get into mocking them up, then I'm just gonna number them um like 1l 2l da, 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 or 1p 2p etc 
to keep them all straight, um, the other thing that you're seeing in there is deburring uh, using the Scotch Brite wheel and um, a small two inch Scotch Brite uh, wheel that's in the drill press, which works really well for um, deburring those lightning holes. Um, especially when it gets a little bit of a groove worn into it. That was a huge uh, time saver. Um, I don't think that I captured any of the work that I did. Basically, you have to get in all those little nooks and crannies, so I used some like one-inch wide um, cloth-backed um, sanding paper that you can kind of roll up and, and pull through those little cracks. And then the other thing that I do for that is um, I've got a little little piece of wood, a little wedge that's narrowed down that I can wrap some um, sanding paper around it and getting into those uh, little spots. Um, and then you see me in the bottom right, fluting, 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 fluting. Um, this trick of using, um, rather than using a straight edge, but using a couple of clicos with a, picos, a piece of string, super effective. Um, surprisingly, uh, the main ribs, which are like much larger than the nose ribs were actually much quicker to flute, even though you got more, you have more surface area. It seemed like with those, just sort of one light pass would get it really close because even if there's a lot of twist in them, that's a long span that you're making tiny flutes in along the way. Um, the nose ribs um, took a little bit more time because um, the twist is often a little bit more severe, but you're working around that curve. Uh, I would say for the nose ribs, when fluting, start with the flat-ish side of the rib. Do that one first, because that might take a lot of twist out of the curved portion on the top. Um, I, I just found that to work easier than starting with the top and then going to the bottom. There's a little bit more back and forth. But anyways, that business is all done. Now I can get to um, mocking up... Um, the wing and uh once i kind of get that all fitted then i'll take this stuff back apart and uh prep for priming um i'm glad this the this is done not the worst of it but the most of it thanks for watching we'll catch you when we get to building a wing